Today we're going to look at the Canon C300 Mark II with RAW 4K out to the Shogun Flame. This 4K RAW setup is compatible with the original Shogun, the Shogun Flame, and also the Shogun Inferno. The C300 Mark II is an incredible all-round professional camera, ticking most boxes for pro needs. It has a compact form factor, great low-light performance, internal audio and preamps, excellent autofocus control, and amazing picture quality. The C300 Mark II has a wide dynamic range with its C-Log2 profile, making this camera a great match for HDR workflows. This paired with the Flame series completes the acquisition and monitoring components of HDR. HDR, or high dynamic range, is about displaying a wider brightness range, closer to what the human eye can see. With a wider brightness range, you get more detailed highlights and more detailed deeper blacks at the same time. Now you can shoot HDR with your log camera. Also monitor and expose correctly with your Atomos monitor. This is definitely a seeing is believing type of technology. So to demonstrate, we're showing you SDR and HDR footage to compare. Now edit and grade for HDR using your flame as your reference monitor. Finally, you can deliver a master that's ready to display on HDR TV panels that are being sold to consumers right now. Using an SDI cable, connect the record out of the C300 Mark II to the SDI in of the Shogun Flame. Power up both the camera and the Atomos recorder. Insert a Canon recommended CFUS2 card and initialize the media. Toggle down to Custom Picture Menu. Tab right once and enter into the preset menu. Select Canon Log2 with C gamut. Toggle down to the Record slash Media Setup. Set your system frequency based on your desired frame rate. In this case, we're going to select 59.94 Hz as we want to shoot 2997p. Toggle down to Rec Out 4K Raw Mode and select 4K Raw. Tab down to Frame Rate and set as desired. Tab down to Resolution slash Color Sampling and select 4096 by 2160 for 4K DCI or select 3840 by 2160 for 4K UHD. We're going to stick with 4K DCI. Tab down to Rec Command turn on. Now tab down to HDMI timecode and turn on. Now toggle down to picture slash terminal setup. If you wish to use the HDMI out of the camera for secondary monitoring, then go to the secondary monitoring devices tab and choose monitor plus HDMI plus LCD viewfinder. This will enable all monitoring options simultaneously. On your Atomos recorder, go to the input menu and change your source to SDI. While you are there, change your trigger to Canon. Enable trigger will turn on. Select your desired recording format. In this case, we're going to select ProRes HQ. Hit record on the camera to test. You are now ready to shoot 4K RAW out of the C300 Mark II into the Atomos recorder. For more information, go to atomos.com and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and also Instagram. And as always, happy shooting.